39th Battalion, a group of Australian reservist soldiers, are trapped behind enemy lines, cut off and fighting the Japanese and having to suffer the endurance of the terrain and the jungle to get back to, I think it's New Guinea, to their own lines. When trumpets fade, a uh, for largely forgotten battle, I think it's a battle of uh, Hurt Garden Forest or something, or called the Death Factory, I believe, uh, where after three months of brutal fighting, 24,000 American troops were left wounded or dead. Never seen it. Heard of it, though. So, Jarhead, starring Jake Gyllenhaal, Peter Skarsgård, Chris Cooper and Jamie Foxx. Great cast. I think it's one of these films, like, a bit like Full Metal Jacket, where they, these snipers are trained in boot camp and then they get sent to the Middle East and they're not really sure what the purpose of what they're fighting for, that kind of um, war film, I think. So, Days of Glory, a World War II film, where four Algerian soldiers go back to France, their fatherland, to fight against the Nazis to defend their country uh, of origin. They never stepped foot on in France before, but this one was epic scale battles, a bit of racist um, undertow in there as well, treatment. So Unbroken, directed by Angelina Jolie and starring Jack O'Connell, World War II film, a uh, plane load of uh, airmen crashed into the Pacific Ocean, I think, and they're rescued. <laughs> Uh, by the Japanese army and put into this awful uh, prisoner war camp where uh, one of the men gets mistreated because he's uh, an Olympic sprint champion for I don't know what reason. A uh, bit of charge of fire, a bit of Bridge of the River, over the River Kwai, uh, that kind of thing, vibe. So 1915, the Battle for the Alps, a World War I true story of this mountain defence regiment that was set up as a last line of defence against the invading German army. I think it's a French Alps, I'm not really sure. Um, don't know anything about this film, don't know who's in it, or other than it's based on a true story, so it gives it a bit of a more interesting vibe, I would say. So I don't know how to pronounce this film, it's something Christmas, Joyous Christmas or something, um, based on the true story of World War I, kind of uh, coming together of the two parties, the French and the German soldiers, laid down their arms, had a bit of a, a armistice, or a, for Christmas Eve, and exchanged gifts and pleasantries, and sang and danced together, and before probably going back to killing each other the next day.